So, this is my new 3D printer. This is the Anycubic Cossel Linear Plus. And it's absolutely huge. Uh, yeah, it's pretty beasty. Um, so you may have seen the time-lapse video I just made of me printing the low-poly Pikachu. You can see them there. Currently being printed. Currently at 82% done. Um, so a few a few notes about this printer really. Um, so it's a bit of a sorry about that. Uh, so yeah, this this printer. I bought this thinking, put it together, build it all, start printing straight away. But no, that was completely not what happened. I mean, it's a great printer, but I think if you're going to buy a printer as your this as your first printer, I, th I think you'd be better to go off for, with a more basic one. Um, so essentially, what the issue I had with this was is that the print head was printing way too high before, and any amount of correction I did was not solving the issue. So I um, uploaded the. M M Merlin? Marlin? Marlin? No, Marlin. Merlin? One of those um, configurations to it. Um, which is a really good like config for it. Um, I also learned that the this printer has an Arduino board in it, which is kinda cool. I, I didn't really expect that to happen. I mean I'm quite I'm fairly new to 3D printing and um, yeah I didn't really know that sort of more advanced 3D printers use Arduino boards to operate. So I put the, the Merlin Merlin I can't remember what it's called now software onto it and still had a few issues with it and stuff like that. So I eventually found on Thingiverse a config for this printer made by a guy called Dahai. So if you just Google Google him, you'll you'll find him. Dahai, just Google something like Dahai uh, Anycubic Cossel, and you'll find you'll find the config for it. So his config was for the the smaller version, the, the standard Anycubic um, Cossel, and this is the the Linear Plus. So it's it's a bit bigger. It's got linear rails on it, um, and the build plate's a bit bigger. So I then searched around for that a bit more and found the config, another config again on Thingiverse, um, and I uploaded that. Um, ran through the calibration probably about six times um, before I got anywhere because the, the thing is the, the print head was printing way too high again, wasn't adhering to the the build plate. So yeah, that was getting kind of kind of frustrating. Um, eventually, I, I after a few more calibrations, I. It started to go a bit lower, which is awesome. Um, and so I, I, from then on, just made uh, probe Z offsets. I just kept adjusting that until the the adhesion was right, like right on point and like really good. And then from then on, I've just been printing like every evening, um, just printing loads of random stuff just to make sure that it's printing well. And as you can see from this, it is printing rather nicely. It's really, really smooth. The adhesion's amazing. Um, it has got uh, a heated bed on it, so it does it does stick down a lot better than my old printer, which was a uh, an XYZ Da Vinci Mini, which was a lot more intuitive. But I wanted to upgrade something to to something more flexible that I could modify, and do that sort of thing too. So I've got this. Um, but yeah, it's been it's been a bit of a learning curve. I bought it. I got it last week. Got it on eBay for two hundred pounds, which is really good for this printer. I mean, it's an, an awesome printer. I, um, so I could have got. I was thinking of getting the Crea Creality Ender Three, but I looked at this one. And I thought it's a Delta printer. It's really cool. Um, and then I soon learned that the configs for Delta printers are a lot more complicated because there's a lot more going on, as you can see. It's, yeah, it's crazy the way it works. But yeah, I, I prefer this printer. I mean, the build height is really good on this. Um, probably goes up to about 30 millimeters. And so, sorry, so the bed is. 230 by 230 so and, and then 300 height um, so you can make 
quite big prints on this printer, which is awesome. So that's that's sort of something I really wanted to do is sort of start making bigger printers, and yet I'm still making tiny little low poly Pokemon. <laughs> so I just I've just been printing really just to just to make sure that everything's okay before I go on to some really big prints that take hours and hours to print. But yeah, um, I would recommend this printer if you're comfortable with doing all this sort of firmware stuff and using the Arduino software to upload the configs. And yeah, it's, it's a pretty sweet printer. I mean, I'm really happy with it. Um, it's really well made, like really good materials and stuff like that. It has an auto calibration probe there, which I just stuck on the magnet, like uh, stuck on a screw up there because it's magnetic. So I just keep that there for now, um, and that works seemingly well. Um, but yeah, uh, I highly recommend it, and you should see some more videos um, about me printing on this printer in the near future. Okay, uh, so yeah, you know, subscribe and like and stuff, and yeah, you'll see some more videos. See ya.